What's up vapers? Thanks for checking out Daily Vape TV. My name is Nick and welcome to something completely different than my normal reviews. This is going to be the new format. I've decided that we're going to be doing more live content on the channel and with that we're going to do some live reviews. Uh, main review is going to be on Wednesday nights from 10, uh, 10 till whenever, basically it could take 15 minutes. It could take half an hour. I really am not sure at this point, we're just going to wing it from here. So welcome to the first one. Hope you guys are ready for this. We're going to be taking a look at this guy right here, which is the Rattel XS from MechLife. Big shout out to MechLife for sending this one my way for the purpose of making this video. And let's just go ahead and have a quick puff on this thing. It would help if it was on. Yeah, well, it, it wouldn't be a live stream if we didn't have some issues. So there we go. Shout out to everyone that's just joining right now. In the future, I will have a little splash screen with some music and a little graphic or something like that rolling. I just kind of am the last minute king here. I decided that we're going to just go for this thing tonight and I had no setup whatsoever. I actually had to break out my other webcam and have it set up and everything like that. So in the future, we're going to be a bit more organized. So please bear with me. Uh, but yeah, let's have one more two off this thing here. So, <clears throat> speaking of not being prepared, I didn't even look up the actual device and see what colors it comes in online. So, just one second here. Let me bring that page up. There we go. <clears throat> so, it looks like you can get this, this thing for about $45 from what I'm seeing right here. And it's available in several different color options. Of course, the one you see here is the green and black, which looks really neat, if I do say so myself. Uh, other than that, I believe there's also a red and, uh, red and blue, uh, a black carbon fiber, a black and silver. Uh, there's a bunch of different carbon fiber options. Uh, looks like black, gunmetal, silver, and gray. I'm not really sure what that last one is. And then there's also the resin versions as well, which are white and black, uh, red and kind of a teal, green and black, and a blue and looks like orange. So eight different color options with this thing here. And I'm not going to be too long-winded with these reviews. They might only last about half an hour or so, and I will do some chat interaction at the end. So uh, just stay tuned for that. Big shout out to everybody that's joining me tonight. I realize that uh, Stan is also live at this point. So thank you guys for joining me for this first ever live review. Um, so yeah, I do have another camera set up, so I really want to show you guys this thing in closer detail here. So let's quickly just go down to the close-up cam and we'll take a look at it. Boom! There's the close-up cam right there. And we'll give you guys a look at this box here. Got to get used to this thing um, and this other camera being here. Kind of looking to my screen on my right so it's a little bit weird for me so again please just bear with me we'll get through this together we've got the Rattel X rebuildable AIO 80 watt device box right here we've got some of the main features as you can see listed along the sides uh, we've got on this side just mech life and on the back some more details and that kind of stuff so uh, if my camera would focus, that would be lovely. There we go. So you can see the kit contents and all the warnings and the company information, social media stuff, all that good stuff there. Let's go ahead and take a look at what you get inside the box. First of all, we have this lovely embossed silver, as you can see. Really cool. Taking the cover off. Of course, my device is right here. Uh, this is what you're going to see first. Normally, here we have the little product manual little fold out thing yeah it's a fold out manual but you got to give them credit because it's uh, nice and full color with big graphics and the printing on it is not microscopic I know it's pretty blown out there but 
uh, the printing on it's not tiny, tiny, tiny. So a eh, couple points off for, for that, but you know, uh, what can you do? We've got the baggy O parts here. Actually, this is more of like the rebuildable stuff. We've got a little piece of cotton and a couple of coils. Ooh, the light's gonna be really bright on this thing, so let's let's try to turn down the light. Uh, it doesn't really help much. It's just gonna blow it out completely. But there, you can kind of see the coils a little bit. Pretty decent looking set, actually. I believe they are Fuse Clapton, so that's kind of cool. You can see that right there. And those are the specs and everything on there. We have a charging cable in this box. I know that. Ta-da! Nice little micro USB charging cable. Add that to the pile. And we've got some tools, O-rings, screws, and all that other good stuff in this one. So there you go. And last but not least, they give you a lanyard, which is really neat. Thank you, MechLife, for thinking of something that is very useful in everyone's daily lives here. Um, I think a lot of people could get a lot of use out of that. But let's go ahead and put the stuff from the box aside. Oh, one last thing I forgot. This little, basically it's a shoehorn. It's a shoehorn for your vape. Uh, so it's got mech, mech life written on it, as you can see. Uh, but basically what it does is makes it so that getting your, your pod is easier. You stick it in the little bottom thing there and it helps you get your pod in and out, which I really haven't had any issues with. So let's take a quick up close look at the device itself. Then we'll take a look under the hood and see what we uh, have for a build deck. Here is the actual device. Uh, as you can see here, it says mech chip. Uh, you have your up and down buttons here, which are kind of inconveniently placed on the inside lid of that um, case. We've got the battery terminals listed, positive and or negative and positive. And you can see the contact pins with eh, a little bit of juice down in that reservoir, but kind of blame myself for that. I have kind of overflowed this thing a few times. Not gonna lie, but uh, with that, we have the screen on the outside here. Nice little screen, nice clicky fire button. I doubt you'll be able to hear that very well on the mic, but there it is. And on this side, nothing. Uh, just a little lanyard strap section right there, the uh, little piece where your lanyard goes in. On the bottom, just nothing but the micro USB charging port right down there. And that's pretty much the whole device in a nutshell, minus the pod sections. We also have the uh, door cover as well with the horizontal line for airflow and the vertical line to show your juice level, which is uh, kind of helpful, kind of not, because you can't really see it because it's kind of dark in there with the back being completely blocked so meh, kind of a bummer thing there here is the actual pod uh, i do have a custom tip on here this is a half moon mods drip tip that i put on there they do give you a pretty nice one and it does match really nicely with the resin of the panel i just like the look of this one and how chunky it is and i don't know i, I just like half moon tips but you can see this piece right here uh, has like that kind of gear styling to it. I feel like that is metal. It feels like it's metal to me. Um, kind of wish that wasn't like the gear style thing because you can feel it when you're vaping on it and it's not the most comfortable thing in the world. Uh, they could have made this like flat with a little bit of knurling and I would have been a lot happier with it, but that's besides the point. Uh, the whole container, as you can see here, is clear so you can see your liquid level fairly easily when it's out of the device. And we have this little metal uh, plug here, the screw top. Uh, that's how you fill it. Can be a little bit difficult to fill if you don't angle your bottle in this thing or leave an air gap then it will just squirt out everywhere and get juice down inside of the reservoir as you saw or rather in the uh the compartment for where this uh, pod goes so as you saw mine had a little bit of leakage in there so that's part of the reason why that is the case but down here this is the actual um, rebuildable the base of the rebuildable section this is the airflow control which controls these little holes on this side here. And actually, let's get a better, see if we can, ooh, no, that's no good. Back the light off a little bit, see if we can get a better, there we go, that's a little bit better. 
Sorry about this, guys. I'm, I'm learning. I'm still new. <laughs> <laughs> we have the airflow control. This is going to be adjusted, and you have the individual holes right there, as you can see. Fully open, fully closed, and it does have a stopper, which is kind of nice. And I'm actually going to dump this out real quick. So I'm just kind of uh, uh, uh. Ooh, dump out that juice. <laughs> kind of ghetto rigged it here. Got a little soda can, seltzer can. All right. So I'm going to try to dry off this pod. Uh, 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 uh. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. I will definitely be shouting you guys out in just a minute here. Let me just uh, finish up with this little close-up section. Uh, so here you can see the actual pod itself. Now let me try to get this under focus. See if I can get this one into focus here. Um, do, do, do. Do, do, ooh, not that close. Right about there. That's pretty good. So here you can see the actual um, coil rebuildable section. It's got this little upper thing here, which attaches to a little neck that's inside of here, which is also removable, which I wish it kind of wasn't because I forgot to put it on the first time I build this, built this thing and the juice got absolutely everywhere. So that's what I get for not reading the manual. Read the manual, folks. It will help you. So yes, there is a little neck that attaches on top of here that also goes into the pod. Uh, but you can see the juice flow ring uh, holes along the bottom edge here. You can see the O-ring at the bottom. And it gives you a little bit better look at the airflow control. I'm trying to get it in focus right about there. So there you go. And let's just go ahead and take off this bell cap section. Dry my fingers off a little bit. So here you can see the build deck and my slightly dirty cotton. Uh, this is actually a uh, coil from For British Eyes Only. So a big shout out to For British Eyes Only for building these coils for me. These are actually mouth to lung framed staples. Can you believe that? They come out to about 0.6 and I'm vaping them at 16 watts and it vapes like a dream. You can see the airflow hole right underneath there. It's a pretty decent size. So technically you could get a nice restricted lung draw out of this thing, which is kind of how I like to vape it. Uh, you also have the flathead screws, which one of the bonus things about this build deck is my screwdriver, the coil master one that I have fits perfectly in these screws. So I never have any skips or slips or anything like that. And you know, that's pretty much it when it comes to the build deck. There's really not a lot to this thing. It's just a simple little two post. And you have the wick tails kind of just barely dangling down into the uh, kind of juice port section there. Ugh, dirty cotton. Needs to be changed pretty soon. I swear I'm going to do it one of these days. But uh, you really need very, very minimal cotton with this one. Just a teeny little tuft at the end of this coil and then just tuck it right into place. Uh, in my opinion, the shortest distance between the coil and the actual juice well section here is the best kind of bet for this one. So let's go ahead and put it all back together and then we'll go back up to the main screen and we'll have another little bit of a chat about this one. So I'm just going to slap on the autofocus and get to work building this thing back up here. And so basically you just screw this section in. Boop finger tight. I'm going to leave my airflow wide open. I'm going to make sure this fits in appropriately and it's just a press fit. So you just press fit it in like that, which is very convenient and you can kind of move your airflow control so it faces the outside like so and you just pop in your pod. Yeah, that clunk you heard is why they give you that little shoehorn thing in there. It's because you're meant to kind of just wedge it in like that, but meh, it works. And your battery goes in just like this, boop, just like that. <clears throat> shows mech life, and then now it shows 
new coil, old coil. So we're just going to do old coil because it is in, it is in fact the old coil. And we're going to turn it back up to 16 watts. I know it's not. Uh, focus. Damn it, focus. We're going to turn on the manual focus again. Doop. Bring it in closer. So I'll give you guys a little look at the screen. So pretty basic with this one here. I have it in power mode. Ooh, mm -hmm. Screen turned off. Power mode goes up in 0.1 watt increments. Ugh, God damn, this is difficult. Stan, more power to you for doing these live reviews. This is not easy. You can see your battery life, the resistance of your coil. Old coil there. So this one comes in at right about 0.5 and your working voltage as well when you hit that button. So as you can see, 2.7 volts. Uh, so if I wanted to, I could crank it up a little bit, but that's, I'm, I'm fine with where it's at right now. Um, there's really nothing much to this thing. <sighs> Gotta get real close to the screen. Um, the, yeah, I really have never messed around with the settings too much. There's temp control, all that good stuff, but personally, I just like it in regular old wattage mode. So that's where it's going to stay. All right, let's get this back on auto and we'll slap the door on real quick. Oop, nope, nope, ribbon goes inside. And I'll show you guys how you can fill it. Unscrew that, grab your juice out of your bag. Today I'm vaping on some uh, origins three monkeys or 12 monkeys origins uh, this one is what is this one shoku okay i honestly don't even know the names but it's delicious i think it has it's like a grape lemonade or something to be honest i'm not sure so let's go ahead and slap the old top on i'll show you what i mean by it's difficult to see inside the pod too here in one second. Oh, it would help if I wasn't cross threading it. There we go. So uh, yeah, a little bit difficult to see inside of that chamber, especially not when it's in direct light like it is right now. Um, but it's not impossible, I suppose. I guess hashtag they tried. And the only other thing that really bugs me about this is that. So you have carbon fiber on one side and resin on the other. But we'll talk about that in just a second. Let's go back up to the main screen. Boom! Just like that, we're at the main screen. Kind of love that, that little hybrid hit, that little uh, direct to mouth to lung. I guess that's the best way I could put it. I inhale on it direct to lung for a minute and then at the last second, you kind of do like a, a little mouth to lung quick inhale thing. Pretty good, right? Pretty good. Um, by the way, I meant to ask you guys, how is the audio? Because I'm just winging it right now. I have no idea what I'm doing, and I'm just kind of guessing. So I hope the audio is pretty good, guys. Kind of that restricted lung hit, hybrid hit sort of thing. Um, but yeah, so let's go over some things I like about this, some things I don't like about it, and let's just start off with a good... Uh, I really like the overall size, shape, form factor. It's really, really nice. It fits in your hand nicely. The only bad thing about that is it's really meant for right-handed vapors because you have to kind of hold it like this. If you hold it with your left hand, you're going to block that airflow, and that's no good. So right-handed vapors, this is going to be the one for you. Left-handed vapors, you're left uh, you know, out in the cold for this one, unfortunately. Um, someone has to chat, how's the throat hit? Wish I could tell you. I'm vaping zero milligram in this and really doesn't have a lot of throat hit. I mean, for me, this is a 0.5 ohm coil, uh, 16 watts. 
you're not going to get a ton of throat hit. If I cranked it up to about 20, yeah, you'll definitely get some throat hit. And if I had either Nick Salt or High Milligram Freebase Nick in here, you'd get plenty of throat hit, I am sure. But unfortunately, since I've been vaping 0 milligram, I really have no basis of comparison for the actual throat hit of what a device feels like anymore. So I guess that's kind of part of the problem with vaping 0 milligram. Um, things I like about this device, I like the airflow control system, very intuitive, very easy to use. Same thing with the build deck, um, I really like that you just pop the whole thing out, pop it back in, could not be any easier. As for the getting the pod in and out, really no issues there whatsoever, it's fairly easy. Um, one thing you might notice is that battery door rattle, gotta love that battery door rattle. I think no one has gotten this perfect ever but other than that i mean it is what it is uh as far as the knurling or the uh, little gear kind of thing at the top here not a huge fan of that as well i just feel like it could have been a little bit better if they maybe rounded the top and uh did a little bit of like cross knurling or something like that that would have been a lot nicer I guess I'm getting nitpicky here. Yeah, same thing with the uh, resin one side, carbon fiber the other. Definitely a nitpicky complaint, but I'm going to make it anyways because you guys know me. I get nitpicky. So, uh, it, yes, you can get the full carbon fiber version. Would have rather had that one definitely over this one, or they should have done two resin panels, but that's just me. So, uh, the tip that comes with it is nice. I mentioned that already. No other really serious complaints about this. Uh, the filling system could be a little bit better. Then again, it's not terrible. Uh, you just got to do it the right way. If you have, you kind of have to angle your nozzle, make sure the juice is kind of flowing naturally down into the larger part of the reservoir rather than just going straight down and just squeezing the bottle because I did that and it just went all over the top and bubbled out. So didn't work out so well for me. And yeah, the window thing bugs me a little bit, but other than that, um, yeah, really no huge complaints. I would say the fact that the uh, buttons are on the inside is a bit annoying because uh, if you, you know, take your pot out real quick or anything like that, it's going to ask you new coil, old coil. And if you already put your battery door back on, then you have to open it back up and, uh, you know, it's a bit of a pain in the ass. But yeah, once again, I'm getting nitpicky. That's just me, I guess. Let's take another vape off of this thing. Make sure I got it the right direction because you don't want to cover that. You can't be a finger fire and you can't be a left-handed vapor unless you left-handed finger fire this thing. That's really the only way you're going to be able to do it, but not very comfortable. So I'm going to thumb fire it in my right hand. Overall, very good vaping experience. The flavor on this thing is fantastic. I would have to say that out of all the AIOs that I've used so far, this is definitely among the top. I mean, there's really not a whole lot of difference between the uh, Rattel, the original Rattel, and the Rattel XS in the flavor department, uh, but it just keeps getting better in my opinion, so there's that. But. Yeah, really not a whole lot else to say about this one. Uh, let's see what time we've got. Oh, about half an hour. So uh, I'm going to open it up to you guys. I'm going to read some chat. We're going to talk about the whole live kind of review thing. We're going to talk about a few things here. Um, I'll open it up to any questions you guys may have. So please feel free. Type something in chat. Say hi. If you want a shout out or anything like that, let me know. I'm going to wrap this up pretty soon so you guys can go about with your day. Um, and yeah, I'm just willing to take any questions, comments, concerns. Um, so yeah, uh, like I mentioned earlier, Wednesday nights, uh, 10 p.m. to midnight or 10 p.m. Uh, for about half hour, hour or so. Uh, is when we're going to be doing these live reviews. Sunday, we're going to get back into doing the live vlog sort of thing, and I might end up doing some other random little live stuff here and there, so be on the lookout. Make sure you're subscribed. Hit the little bell icon and sign up for notifications so you get alerted whenever I go live or whenever I put out a new video. Um, but yeah, let's take a look through chat here real quick. 
big shout out to Kate Moth, my lovely momerator. She is in chat as well as Hobag, one of my Twitch viewers as well. Steven Taylor is here, New Wave Dave. We've got Cloud Chasing Chasing Flavor. We've got Derek Smith in here as well, 808 Kevin K. We've got Stan, Tenacious TX Vapes. Uh, he says, you're too clean. I don't know what that means, Stan, but I guess that's a compliment, so I'll take it. Uh, let's see. We've got Lando and Daryl Bashian. I hope I pronounced that right. I murder names. That's what I do. And Emily Blue's in here as well. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, <laughs> Cloud Chasing Chasing Flavor says, I think this went pretty fucking smooth, in my honest opinion. Well, <laughs> I'm winging it, man. I'm just hanging on by a little hair, but uh, hey, you know what? Considering it's a new setup and everything, it's a little bit different. Um, I'm trying to control two different webcams with the same software right now, and it's a little bit weird for me, but um, I don't know. I, I think so far it's doing all right. Uh, but other than that, uh, yeah, I would say pretty smooth uh, pretty smooth I mean the focus on this camera is way better or at least it should be uh, and the, the color and everything oh look how gorgeous that looks it's so high definition and sharp and crisp uh, I might have to get another one of these webcams which is the the Logitech Brio uh, but overall I mean I have this camera here this camera here we go from one set up here and then this one's over here so the audio never really changes a whole lot which is good um, but yeah, that's, that's my setup, this new setup. And I want to know, you guys have to vote on stuff to put in the backdrop, uh, backdrop. Cause this, this wall right here has been naked for a very long time. I was thinking since, uh, you guys can't see my, my hat collection over here anymore, throwing a couple of those, uh, the little hat holder things on this door, just, just for old time's sake, just because you got to have the hat collection in the back. You guys want to see those. Uh, but maybe something over here. Let me know. Vote in the comment section or in chat what I should put here. Should I get like a little Daily Vape TV banner or something like that? Let me know. I'm curious. But let's go ahead and take a look at chat here. Um, so uh, Tenacious TX Vape says, Why are you doing live reviews? Because you've seen how much of a cluster bleep your uh, best buddy Stan does and want... Uh, uh, want to do them better? Uh, there's no promises I'm doing them better, St uh, Stan. Steve? Stan? See, I'm messing up my friend, my old friend's names now. Jeez. Um, I'm going to try to do them better. Watch out, Stan. I'm coming for you. <laughs> we might have to do a uh, dual broadcast one of these times where we both have the same device and we do a dual review. Uh, over Zoom. How about that, folks? Would you like to see that X1 or X2 in comments? Yeah. <laughs> uh, good review, Nick. Sorry I'm late. Still at work, unfortunately. Big, big Red. Sorry you couldn't join us earlier. Don't worry. This is saved replay, so you can watch it later if you so choose. Watch me fumble around on my second camera. Um, but um, we got through it. <laughs> Let's see, Shadows Falls poster. They're actually from my local area, so maybe that's a, that could come true. <laughs> that's a good one. Uh, the live review is quite nice, but I would engage just a little bit more during the review. Uh, okay, that's fair. That's a fair, uh, fair uh, treatment right there. Uh, I would probably maybe like do a two-part kind of Q and A sort of thing, maybe before going down to the the uh, up close, because when I'm in the up close cam, unfortunately, it's I'd have to like look all the way over to my second monitor to uh, it, it's 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 a bit of a stretch. So it's hard enough just make sure making sure I'm staying on camera over here, let alone in chat. But maybe I'll do like a two part Q and A before we dive down, or maybe like the good stuff before we dive down and the bad stuff after we dive down, or something like that. Maybe you're right. Uh, I'm just I'm gonna have to adapt, adapt and change and figure out something that works. Uh, let's see, poster of my beautiful face. Never gonna happen, Lando. Sorry about that. We've got a big Betty boot poster. That's an interesting one. If if you send it to me, Stan, I will put it up. 
Uh, you heard it here first, folks. Also, I vote a neon DVTV sign in the blank wall space. That would be awesome, but neon signs are frickin' expensive. They cost hundreds of dollars, especially custom ones. You're talking up to the thousands for that. So uh, unless I get more patrons, sign up right down there. The link is right below. Uh, that's not going to happen. Uh, let's see. You'll definitely do them better. Hell yeah, man. I'm in. Cool. All right. Good to know. We got uh, Mr. Tenacious TX Vapes on board for that. Eventually, I'm going to probably run my capture card with my little um, mirrorless camera for my main cam. And my, my Brio will be my down close, close up, up close, whatever, that camera. And uh, I'm also going to be fixing the lighting. Uh, I want something a little bit more overhead and not direct because you guys always complain about the circles in my eyes whenever I had it uh, on my other setup in the office. So uh, I know people are going to complain, so I'm going to have to preemptively just say that and let it be known that I'm working on it, I'm going to fix it, it's going to change. Don't worry about it. But <sighs> let's see. Mm, do, 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 do. Some links to the ones. Uh, all right, Kate, I'm down for that. Links are always great. Build off for comic relief. Be careful what you wish for. Anyways, guys, um, I have this lovely new PC set up. You guys bugged me and yelled at me for ever about how I'm a Mac person and PC master race and all that. So I went out and built myself a beautiful PC. Let's see if I can give you guys a, a quick little shot of that. Just look at that beautiful PC right there. Isn't that gorgeous? And yes, I even put a little Apple sticker on there for good measure. Uh, but there you go. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, oh, now I screwed up the camera. <laughs> Oops. All right, so thank you guys so much for joining me. Hope you had a good time while it lasted. We will see you next Wednesday for another review. But before that, we're going to see you on this Sunday starting at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's what we're going to do uh, for the live vlog thing. So 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Sundays. Uh, make sure you check out Vape Stew this coming Friday at 11 p.m. Oh, sorry, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 9 p.m. Central. And then after that, we sometimes will do streams with me, Michelle, Demo, Swaggins, all those guys. And also, if you haven't already, check out my Twitch channel. Uh, it's twitch.tv slash slightly buzzed. Links right down there in the description. Uh, that is where you're going to see me struggle playing video games. And yeah, I'm going to download a few games for PC and uh, start playing some PC games. So stay tuned, guys. i got a lot of big stuff in the works. I appreciate all the support, all the positive energy, all the good vibes in here. And just the fact that you guys hung on for this long and stayed with me because... Uh, I was struggling for quite a while. I got really sick. I was building my PC. I was out for a few weeks, and I'm glad to say I'm back. So that's going to do it for me. Uh, there you go, Frank Wolf, 10 p.m. Eastern. Uh, thank you, Frank, for uh, doing that in chat. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for tuning in once again. And as always, vape on.